Well, good morning. It's Marty Van Deest here with Valley Market Real Estate, and it's February 13th, Tuesday today. I'm going to do the market update for the 5th through the 12th of February, but I want you to stay tuned at the end because I'm going to start adding more information to these market updates. If you have anything you'd like me to talk about, make sure and let me know because I'll stick it in there. But today I'm going to talk about new construction in the Valley, in the Matanuska Borough, below 500000 and I'm going to show you some new construction, so stay tuned at the end of the video. But right now, let's just look at the numbers, and I'm going to talk about them a little bit, too. Here we go. This is for the last week, and it's kind of interesting. So, only 25 new listings came on the market. 25 new listings in the last week. That's not very many. <laughs> I expected more, now, especially since we sold 30 of them. Uh, so, sold more than came on the market. And this time of year, I wouldn't think it'd start going the other way. Eventually, it has to. I'm pretty sure it'll have to go the other way. Closed out 22, and the total inventory went down. So our right now, at this rate right here, right here, pending, 30 pendings in a week, if we were to continue to th pen 30 houses in a week, we'd go through all these houses in, um, what, eight weeks. But that's not going to happen because notice over here, uh, the total amount of days on the market is 116 days. You divide that by seven, and it's a lot more than eight weeks. And that's because a lot of these houses that are here are overpriced. And uh, you know what? I don't, I don't know if they're ever going to sell. Some of them won't. Some of them won't sell. People will give up and take them off the market. But I'll tell you about the ones that will sell. And the ones that will sell are the ones that are new. Right now, in the Valley, there are 17 houses that are brand new. Completely finished, waiting for a buyer. You know what? Those houses are going to sell. That builder's not going to sit on those forever. They're going to sell. And there are 36 houses that are under construction. So I went to look at some of the houses yesterday, and today I'm heading out right away to take another look at one on Hidden Ranch, one listed by Stephanie Gamble. These are uh, Some of them are listed in our office. Some of them are listed in other offices, have permission to talk about them all. And uh, there are some interesting things there. Under 500,000, there are not very many houses that are up. And uh, the ones that I show today are all up. They're in different levels of uh, construction, but several of them are really close. In fact, one of them is all done, ready to move in. So take a look at these. People often ask if I can build a house in the wintertime. And that's what these guys are getting ready to do. They're doing the excavation right there. And they're going to build a house here. It's February 13th. Take a quick video of this place out here on Nina, Nina Road and the Butte. Nice view of Piner Peak and the Butte behind it. Let's see if we can get inside. Looks like they're setting cabinets. Let's see, do the lights work? Yeah, some lights work. Setting cabinets, don't have the countertops on yet. I think they're going to be quartz countertops. Gonna be a big island there. It's a windy day, almost 5 p.m. It's a little daylight though. And you can see even rain out there. But there's a covered deck here. They have it locked, I can't go out there. Oh well, you can see the mountain there. Be lots of southern exposure is nice topsoil if you're interested in uh, growing stuff. Okay, I'm out here at 4564 Gold Mint Drive. This place is supposed to be finished. You can see it's kind of a decent neighborhood. There's a big house right there. And we'll go take a look inside. Okay, I'm inside. This house looks like it's completely finished. Looks like there's hot water baseboard heat. Uh, either granite or quartz. I guess that's granite countertops. I didn't put a microwave over there, but they do have a, a hood. You could fit a microwave in that spot. It looks like it comes with a fridge. That's not too normal. Yeah. And uh, this is kind of a pantry cabinet on the end. Those are nice. Do a quick walkthrough here. Uh, Probably the master, yep, master. Got a shower in there. I'm doing this quickly. Bathroom there, another pool bath there. 
laundry here, and the third bedroom back there. So there you go. Uh, all done with this. Maybe I'll go take a look at the garage real quick on my way out. One thing I noticed out here is there's no heater in the garage, but you have that water heater there. Maybe they could put a baseboard unit or something in here. I don't know. They probably all pull them for something anyway. Okay. This is the house at 10014 Dusk Lake Loop. This is lakefront, and I think there's a uh, Finnish carpenter or somebody in there working on it. I'll see if I can get in. Looks like they're getting pretty close here. Flooring's in. Needs some of the base trim, but it's getting there. Setting cabinets today. So this one's looking good. And you can see the lake's not huge, but that is a lake out there. Be good for ice fishing. Well, I don't know if there's ice fishing, but there's ice anyway. <laughs> Here's a house at 6469 South Lark. Under construction, obviously. 363,000. This place is pretty far along. Flooring's in, walls are painted. Outside doesn't look very done, but the inside's just about done. Well, here I am outside of 1633 East Hidden Ranch Loop. I think it's 1633, yep. And uh, this house is still qualifies under 500,000, brand new. I think it's 496, so let's go take a look. Here we go. This one's absolutely complete. Cleaned up, ready to move in. Look at that. I think it's a half acre land in Palmer on city water and city sewer, I believe. Maybe it has its own septic, I'm not sure. I'll look at the listing. I'm gonna connect the listings to all these places um, on the market memo so you'll be able to see them. Nice high vaulted ceiling there. Gas fireplace. And it goes up and down. Let's go up. Oh, it doesn't go down. This is the level. Hey, check this out first. This is what I really like. Whenever they stick a master bedroom on the main floor, that is worth something. So it's got a walk-in shower. Double vanity. And a master, there we go, there's a the light. Closet, access to the crawl space. Window, that opens. Okay, now we'll go upstairs. Okay, I think this place is about 1,700 square feet, maybe a little more than that, so it's got a little bit of extra room. So you have a, a um, washer and dryer up here, laundry room up here. That's good where the bedrooms are. You've got this family room, full bath here. There's room for uh, more than one vanity, but they don't have it, which is okay. And two more bedrooms. One bedroom here. You can see mountains out the back window. It's windy outside, but we're getting a little reprieve right now, I think. Another bedroom. Okay. I think that's the fifth new house I looked at on this video. If you want any more uh, houses, house tours, let me know, because I can do real ones. I'm having to do these ones really quickly. I don't want to make this too long, but I can do them longer if you like. Get a lot of details or want anything else. Let me know what you want on the market memo.